the telemagicians we're not doing the official intro and outro today because I am exhausted but I kind of I just don't want to lay on the couch all day while I'm waiting to help people with their cleanups and recovery from the storm I'm fine obviously I only had some very very minor damage and it's just going to be annoying for the most part but um every storm's different so um i haven't even looked at our general energies besides what like flipped up on its own I, this is gonna be so funny as a read because i'm so tired let's see okay oh well that's interesting so we'll just start i'm just gonna go piecemeal through this it's looking like we have the Knight of Wands and change. So there's going to be some sort of fast moving change that comes in. Probably it's gonna come in relatively quick, quickly, right? Because this change card is kind of like the chariot and we have the Knight of Wands on it, which traditionally looks like somebody on a fast moving horse. And what we have underneath it, because the tarot had already flipped up on this one, is the Knight of Pentacles. So these are all like motion cards, but the Knight of Pentacles would suggest that like there's been gradual momentum building up to this. So I wouldn't be surprised if when the change occurs, you're just like, oh, like I just, I hit my stride maybe, or you're not too shocked about the change that's coming in because right now it's looking like this change was an intentional change, possibly that you've been working on, or if it's not you, it's someone in your energy. So we have the, I'm gonna flip up everything at once. The message of concern with the King of Pentacles and temperance. Um, I don't know, cause I mean, this can be like, you could be the King of Pentacles. You could be receiving a message from the King of, if this is someone outside of you, or if this is you, whoever is sending the message, cause it feels like the King of Pentacles is sending the message to someone this King of Pentacles is a very like benevolent person. They're a very patient person. Um, they have a lot of inward space. Like this is a very, like I would say this person is like firm. They're a stern, like grounded, practical person, but they're also like, they're soft. Like they're very kind. I would get like kind of magnanimous, just very like soft spoken. Um, which is nice, it just feels like, um, this just feels like a good person with a, I don't know what the message is, a message of concern. Um, oh, someone might be concerned about you. If this is a benevolent person, um, you wanna make sure somebody, that this person wants to make sure you're okay, or if you are the person that I'm talking about, you wanna make sure somebody else is okay. Um, so this is somebody checking up on somebody else at the moment is what it feels like. So then we have, yeah, cause look, we have, um, what's under here. Okay. We have child and the six of swords. That's like whoever the child, and it's not like, it's not giving child, not like it could be an actual child. I don't know, but the six of swords, especially in the, in the Smith, um, illustration in that deck. Uh, it looks like a man or a larger person with a woman or like a spouse or somebody, a widow, another person and a child in a boat and they are going elsewhere. Um, they are usually like what I'll say, going, moving to calmer waters, but it's sort of just like with this like olive branch that he that's here, it is someplace like kind of peaceful. So I mean, it could be an actual child or there could be like some sort of age gap here where somebody's older, somebody's younger, but what it's giving, the child is giving vulnerable. Somebody is potentially in some sort of vulnerable position and this other person or you want to help because we have the moon under that, which is kind of like, I don't know what to do. I'm unsure, I'm confused, like um, almost like with the dogs howling at the moon, it's sort of like I am at the mercy of greater forces um, through no fault of my own potentially. And um, it could also mean that you don't, I don't know if you, like, obviously this wouldn't have happened yet. I wouldn't imagine. I mean, it might. Sometimes you can pick up past energy, but the moon might be like, I don't know about this person over here. 
This feels like a real person, but with the temperance card again being an angel, that could be an entity. It could be a guide or a patron, an angel, something like that. But um, angels do angels do come in human form. The forces act in alignment with tangible people. So it could even be a combination. Like, yes, it is a force. It is a guardian angel, but this guardian angel is acting through another real person. And so finally, we have the main male, okay? And that's giving the main male and the lovers. This is giving whoever that king of pentacles is at the moment, but it is an active force. Page of Wands, this is some sort of helpful like person. There's some sort of helpful person here who like cares about somebody else. So that could be the viewer or it could be someone who is around you if you feel more like this more vulnerable force maybe. I'm not sure what this change is but like this, like these three almost um, make more sense altogether. And then like this change seems to be a little bit like hanging out, hanging out over here, but it could be maybe um, You've not been in the position to help people who are in vulnerable states before because you've had to like work a lot to be able to like fill your own like personal cup, material cup, that sort of thing. Or you might be in the position where you have never experienced someone offering you kind of no strings attached help because they care about you. Um, I don't know if this lovers is actually like someone who is in romantic love with you or you're in romantic love with another person the lovers is sort of like because you see both of these have that branch the six of swords and the um and the lover and the lovers card it's giving at the moment just like somebody yes who has love for another person but it feels I don't know, Page of Wands is can be attraction, but it just feels, it doesn't feel like that. If this person has feelings like that, and I mean, obviously we're gonna get specifics on this, that's kind of underneath this sort of like almost, um, I don't know, I kind of don't wanna give paternal or maternal because then it gets weird, like when we're talking about romantic love. But th what I'm saying about that form of care is that that's a unconditional type of love. And this would be something that this person would feel for like pretty much most people, they would care about people in general, but I doubt that they would be like, if this is an actual person that's helping another particular person, they would be feeling some type of specific way about like this individual person that they're coming to assist in whatever way that they are. Okay, we're gonna go around with the big deck again and then I don't know, I guess I do have some questions about this, but it's more just curiosity. All right, under our change, Knight of Wands, Knight of Pentacles. Oh, okay, so this is something somebody's been planning. Um, with this Two of Wands, Nine of Swords, they're stressed. Like, they might be stressed about finally being in the position to do this i don't know why or this is saying that like this is in fact what's changed somebody was like under stress or in fact their worry or care or concern about another person in a vulnerable state has been keeping them up at night and they've been seeing it and they've been wanting to kind of change the situation but perhaps they weren't in the position to before and now they are we'll look at what that stress is um because they change, even if it's something that you want to do, right? Um, being finally able to actually act on the thing or attain the thing does um, create stress. It does create stress. There is fear that you will typically need to confront even when you want something. So we're pulling on our King of Pentacles message of concern and temperance. So this is a caring, lady, this person's concerned. This person's worried about something with this other person. I just don't know what it is. For me right now though, that Six of Swords, like because I'm so like in hurricane mode and hurricane recovery mode, this is so giving like hurricane recovery, but this is not, this is not what it is. <laughs> I mean, it could be, maybe if you're, if you also, like, because other cultures, other places go through things like tsunamis, they go through their own um, tropical systems, and if you're local, like, I don't know, um, 
girl, non-gendered girl, Laura XO, somebody might be helping you out. The Empress, like I'm telling you, this, um, this King of Pentacles, this is a very like kind because it's like, this is like the milk of general, the milk of human kindness, temperance and the Empress. This person is very kind. And like I said, I was kind of like, I don't want to go like, like parent, but it's like maternal. It's like very, very, um, even if that's like a very like um, determined man, that someone who like would make a really great parent, like that's somebody who's also a nurturer, right? Um, and if it's a woman, yeah, she's a nurturer, but like she's also very much like, well, we're gonna get this done and we're gonna do that. Like it's somebody who's able to switch back and forth really well. Um, or this is somebody who wants to help someone who they view as the Empress. I could say it could be any of that, but I'm not taking away from the type of energy that this person has because I was like, the Empress does just clarify this temperance on this King of Pentacles. This is somebody who um, is also a very powerful force and they tend to be more in yin. Even if they are like, even if that is a man, that's a man in like heavy, like yin energy. Which is to say they're not just gonna like do something kind of recklessly like they're gonna kind of sit back and like wait and see where they like best go oh our king of pentacles back again okay so we have child it seems like this person was unclear whatever they want to do here with this whatever the child is representing which i'm quite sure somebody who is vulnerable um I'm guessing this is another person. Anyway, this vulnerable, like it, it's gotta be. Well, look, I don't know if I'm wrong, like the cards will tell me. Um, what it seems like is this person's been in uncertainty about this. It's not necessarily, the moon isn't talking about whoever the vulnerable person is. The moon is talking about our king of pentacles who's back out again um, with the judgment card. So this person has been uncertain about something they received a very clear divine message with that temperance card, or this is just them coming to a very clear understanding within themselves what they want to do um, and that they can do it. So now we have our main male, the lovers, and the page of wands, which is a messenger. So it's sort of like over here with this temperance card on message of concern, this person could be like determining how to send this message what is the most appropriate way to say especially if it's a message of like help like you never want to come off like you know kind of grow like you never know how somebody's going to respond to that um because people get like very like oh like i don't i can in fact help myself like i do not need charity i do not need your pity and that's like not the energy that this person's coming from um Though I could see if they view you as somebody vulnerable and you don't view yourself that way, I could see how that's kind of cute. Um, but it seems like this is where the actual contact is happening with this Page of Wands because the Page of Wands is active energy for a page, right? Yes, Ace of Wands on the Page of Wands. So this is where the message is actually happening, it looks like. Um, we get one more on it and then like, I don't know. We'll look to see, we'll look at some of this stuff. Ace of, whoa, hey, losing cards. Knight of Swords, that is, like those are all communication cards. So that's all clarifying the exact same thing. Whatever is going on in this row, cause the Lover's card is also the, like a decision on the judgment. This person is making a solid decision to make this communication that they've been concerned about over whoever is being represented by this child. Because this is also, the lovers is also a union card. So this person is trying to come together with which what it seems like now with another person because they care about something going on with them. And they wanna communicate about that to offer whatever sort of aid, assistance, I don't know, something. So let's go ahead and get with our smaller deck and I kind of don't have any questions about the nature of this change. Um, because it's this person moving from 
yin energy, that empress temperance into yang. Because the king of pentacles is also fairly yin, right? He's in a solid position and he's just sitting there. I mean, it is like, it's a male card, so it is in yang, but the king of pentacles, I would say, is the most stationary of the kings. Um, so this is somebody who doesn't move very often unless they have a very good reason. Um, and this person is moving from yin. The main male is the number one card. If we went with tarot as well, that is the magician. And we have here the page of swords and the ace of swords. So this person is moving from a stationary position into something that's very active. And so what I want to know here is why... Why did this person take so long to act? Not to call them out or anything. I'm just curious because it seems like something that they've been going back and forth with for a while. And I'm curious about what was, um, what was the conflict? Because the reason why somebody's not acting is because there's a conflict, there's resistance there. And so I'm just curious to know what that was because I don't think this is like a bad thing by any stretch of the means, but I'm just like, if they care about someone and they've been wanting to act, because it doesn't seem like they've been struggling with the wanting, it seems like maybe appropriateness and also stuff going on in someone's life. Also, I don't know the relationship between these two people. So it could be something with that, like when you care about someone, but maybe you don't know them well, like how do you really like broach that conversation without like feeling weird about it? I don't know. So what is it? Ten of Wands, I'm telling you, this is just something going on. This person, obviously, King of Pentacles, Empress, Empress Temperance. We don't have the Emperor here, but the Empress is non-gendered, okay? So that's also the Emperor. We have the King of Pentacles twice. So this is a person who has a lot of responsibility, or they, at some point in their life, had a lot of work, Ten of Wands, and that's also resistance, right? Like, that's powerful resistance. The world, but that's sort of like, whatever the Ten of Wands is, I'm getting just kind of responsibilities. It's sort of like, they have the change that they've been making is closing some of that out, getting rid of some of those responsibilities, clearing things up. Um, and then this last card is the Fool. They had to get themselves in different energy. I'll pull one more on that Ten of Wands, but like I said, this doesn't seem like, this is not a person who was struggling with like the want or the means, it doesn't seem like. This seems like someone who already had a lot going on and they can like see out of the corner of their eye. It's like, oh, this person, oh, this person, but like I've got all of this here and I can't, like I can't go over there and I want to go over there. So this person had to do something, which they did, it looks like, um, to get themselves out of that Ten of Wands. So what is that Ten of Wands if we can know? The thing is, y'all, I know this is so weird. But like, I was kind of a little bit feeling positively about this hurricane because I was like, how much you want to bet? Because I was so frustrated and this is finally like a different sort of read. I was getting so frustrated with like, we're going through a major shift, like type of read, which honestly, um, I was saying like the shift could be a bit rough and shit like, so for me, the way that that might have manifested, even though it was a positive shift, was the hurricane because that like a hurricane is a major shift it is like um like fate and destiny type of stuff guys can you stop i don't care if any if there's a magician or a being up there i i don't care leave it alone i know well she's a witch so like she's gonna like jack with all magic um but i don't like i literally don't care uh, what was I talking about? Oh, so I was kind of excited about this hurricane because I was like, oh, like once this blows through, how much you want to bet we get different reads because it's clearing out that like we're going through a shift. Like I was so sick of that read. Like, I was just like, I don't care. I don't care anymore. Give me a different read. And I like, couldn't clear it. So I was like, the hurricane is going to clear it. Ten of Wands, Four of Coins. This is something about this person maintaining their own stability. And, um, Having their hands full, if you recall what the Four of Coins looks like in the Smith deck and those like it. It's someone um, holding on to their position. So it's just like, to me, this is all giving like life stuff. There was, this person had life stuff, lifestyle stuff, 
but despite that lifestyle stuff and as they gradually did whatever they needed to do they've been like keeping a tab they're like i've got a little tab on this and so now um and probably this is the the reason why that this person was worried i'm going to pull on it is because they couldn't do anything all they could do was look at this other person and be like i really want to do this but i like literally can't i literally can't i have my hands full but i need to go over there so let's go ahead and pull on this Nine of Swords just to see if we get any details on that because I don't really have any questions for this row with the King of Pentacles and Message of Concern because we'll get kind of more maybe details of what the message actually might be, how it might come in or what is said in this last column. Um, I'm kind of more curious about potentially who this other person is that they want to deal with or assist in some way. Okay, so this person was in the Nine of Swords because Eight of Coins work, something that they were doing, like it's either their work life, which is the stability, right? Like I have to reposition my work. Hierophant, this is, okay, this is King of Pentacles twice, right? This is potentially like somebody's bought, like this is like somebody in C-suite, if it's a corporation or it's like the CEO, well, yeah, that is C-suite, but it's the owner of a company, but it is someone with some sort of authority in a system. It could even potentially be a religious system, though I'm not getting that heavily off of that. It's just giving system. And um, the hierophant is very, very structured and it is very patriarchal. So that does give corporation, um, but it could be any system like that. So this is like structured work, but that could even be like a university if we're going with like teacher. So this is someone who, yes, they have a lot of responsibility in their day-to-day -day life. King of Cups, this person is so caring. And this person cares. Here's the thing, whatever this person does, I'm telling you, this person would be a really good boss to have. Because they like literally care, like they're not, they, this person would not be a shitty boss. This person cares about what's going on. If it's their company, or they have people who work for them, like they're managing people, this person cares about what's going on with those people. And so they would be like deeply involved, likely depending on like the nature of the relationships with their coworkers or like subordinates, whatever, um, the people who they're managing. Um, they would like, like they would be somewhat involved with these people's lives or they would know about them. So this is just a very, this is just it's a very caring person. This might be, a, let me pull on this King of Cups. We might have an overgiver here. Queen of Swords, not kind of no. Um, the Queen of Swords on this person is like, like I told you, this person isn't, like this person isn't a pushover. They have something that is very steely about them, but like, I don't know, it's just really good, it's really good balanced energy. This is a very balanced person and the Hierophant with the cross on that as well, that's also a sign of balance and stability. So this person like has, like this person's chakras are aligned, okay? Like this is just, you know, this person was just stressed out over their like life circumstances, that's all. So there's no like real like super drama here. Um, at least not that's appearing in the cards. I don't have any questions about that. I do have some questions about who or what is this child? This really could be though somebody's child. Like, I don't know, um, chariot on this child. Um, the, the person who they, that still is kind of giving the person who they're going towards, but the, the person who they're going towards might be a very headstrong, determined person. Like I said, if you're more, um, if you're not resonating with whoever this King of Pentacles is, King of Pentacles, Empress, Emperor, and you're more over here, you might not view yourself as vulnerable. You might like view yourself as like, oh no, I'm going forward. Like, um, I'm living my life. But it would be like the way this person would view you is kind of like, how somebody would view like a little child thinking that like, like they can do, you know, like when you have a little kid who's like running around, he's like, I am in charge of the house. Like that's kind of, that's kind of what it's giving. This person is like, I see potential, but um, yeah, there's something going on here. Eight of wands, 
Five of Wands, Four of Cups on this child. It almost seems like this person Whoever the child is being, like, whoever the child is, okay, the other person is sort of like, they might be kind of reckless, or it's sort of like this person, based on the way that this other, the King of Pentacles, based on how they've seen this other person behave and how they do things, they're worried about this person getting into, like, unnecessary conflict with how they do stuff because chariot eight of wands is just kind of like i'm doing it like this per like the the child person is more like i'm just going into this and the king of pentacles type person is like way more like back here they're way more like oh uh, you know let me look at this and blah 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 and the child person is more like we gotta get involved with everything and, da -da 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 -da. and it's like the the king of pentacles person is sort of like this person is going to like get into a wreck essentially like they've got their foot to the pedal um and i'm concerned that there's going to be like a little bit of um a hubbub here it doesn't seem like a total crash but like this person is just sort of like i feel like if i assisted this person that we would be in the six of swords instead of this five of wands like, I think this person feels like this is like someone who feels like you would make a good team. So I don't know if this is an employer, like looking at you like you would be a good fit for like a job or something like that. Um, and then this four of cups is kind of like giving, is kind of giving like sulky child. Like, I, it's kind of like, I don't like how this turned out. <laughs> like, <laughs> All right, um, let me switch decks really quickly because I want to see what the Six of Swords is because that sort of seems like what this person wants to do. And then I'm going to look at this Moon card and then we'll come over here finally to whatever this message is. This really might be a mentor though. Like if you are a younger person um and you're you're looking to advance in a career or something like that this could be a mentor um someone who's looking to guide you and i just heard in my mind like they're just like me they're like me for real so i don't know there might be something about the way that you are that this person like sees like if you're younger than this person they see their younger self in you and so they're kind of like, wait, hold on. Like, because when I was behaving in this way, I was making all of these mistakes. And so I kind of like, it would kind of explain why this person cares in the way that they do if this is just not the way that they handle everyone in their lives. Um, if they see, if they're like, oh, I see traits of myself in this person. Um, that could be why. Okay, so the Six of Swords, what this person would prefer to do. Three of Swords, oh my gosh. Ten of Wands. And the Six of Cups. So, the, okay, so I don't know. Uh, who, what, where, when? Three of Swords. Now I have lots of questions. Um... So here are our rougher waters, right? So this person might perceive that you or you are in fact perceiving about another person that someone has a painful way of doing work. Somebody takes on like way more than they should. Like I'm going to pull on this and it's sort of like, no, I want to help you. Like, I don't, want, I don't want you doing all of this alone. So, but the thing is, this person was also in the tent. So this might be why this person cares. So they're only looking over here at you and going, oh, I see my own overworking self in this person. I see somebody out here, like, doing everything by themselves. And, like, they're like, me for real. And so they're like, no, I should go over there. And, like, we should do work together. So I'm going to pull on this Three of Swords. Because that threw me for a second. I was like, Jesus. Wheel of Fortune. Um, this 
This might be whatever, because to me, the Three of Swords and the Ten of Wands, oh, you know, what the Wheel of Fortune is giving is just sort of like, this is potentially an entrenched pattern of behavior um, that this person wants to change. They want to shift it. What that could also be giving is what they can perceive if they do this as well. They would perceive that someone uses work or labor or doing for others as a way to cope with pain, as a way to not deal with like heartache. That could be something that's going on here. I'll get one more and then we'll just move on. Um, because the the six of swords, what the person ultimately wants to do is the six of cups and the six six, like six of swords, six of cups, that's like the same energy. This person wants to like assist. Queen of Swords, it's sort of like, I want to I want to tell you, I want to instruct you, Page of Swords, under the deck. This is some sort of instruction or tutelage or something that this person wants to give. Like, that's what it is. They want to change how you are operating or you want to change how another person's operating. So let me go ahead and clear this off. And then I don't really, because so like this King of... Um, King of Pentacles and Judgment, I don't have any questions about. I do have questions about this moon. So what's that? That's too much. Look at that chunk. Oh my gosh. All right, this moon. Ooh, the devil's under the deck. Yeah, it's like the devil. The devil is whatever that Three of Swords, Ten of Wands is, I think, because they want you to stop doing this or you want somebody to stop doing something. Um, that you, like, you're looking at it or this person's looking at you as, like, this is, like, harmful. Like, don't do it. Don't do it. Um, the star on the moon. The Ten of Cups. And the Five of Coins. Um, I'm pulling on this five of coins. Yeah, it, um, I don't know if you don't know. I just think you don't know. So the star in the Ten of Cups is like, I'm a star. Um, I'm going to be a celebrity. That means somebody everyone knows. I'm not getting that from this. I'm just, you know, it's kind of going in line with like the kind of contemporary vibes of the channel. It's sort of like, I I don't know. I think like you, if you are not that King of Pentacles, like you don't know what that person actually thinks about you. And they're not in your life, or you're not in whoever that child's life is. With the Five of Pentacles, this person, perhaps the person who's being perceived as the more vulnerable one, this Star Ten of Cups would be potential, limited resources to manifest that potential clarified by the Three of Coins. I want to help. I want to give this person some sort of a foundation. And is sort of like, you might not perceive, like, you don't know that this person is thinking that. You don't know that that's the judgment that this person has placed on you because they haven't communicated with you yet, right? They haven't said anything. Um, you also might not understand your own potential if you're not the one seeing somebody else's potential. And also that Ten of Cups is um, the inverse of the Ten of Wands. This person wants to flip that. Like, no, not Ten of Wands, Ten of Cups. And we can do that together. And with this Flynn guy involved, I got me a whole world of yes. Okay, so let's finally look at what this communication is from our main male and the lovers with all of our communication cards here. Page of Wands, Ace of Wands, Knight of Swords. Ooh, that just jumped out. y'all for real and for true I have never seen people as mad as they are about like with like the sewage and water board and energy and all of that stuff 
somehow knew that some sort of grief card was going to come out on that. We'll see what that is. Um, I've never seen people this mad because it's a cat one storm. That's why people are like out for blood. Like I would not be surprised if there was some sort of class action lawsuit because like people are like losing property specifically because of the incompetence of um, utilities corporations that we can't serve you to like if you don't know this like fun fact um entergy and it, it's entergy and clico that's like you can't like there are no competing like utilities places here so you cannot you cannot go with like a different company period so they can basically do whatever they want and so I would not be shocked if there was actually some sort of like lawsuit because people are paying out the ash for insurance and like all of this stuff. And it's sort of like there, like there was some lady talking, she's like, we did everything right. And it's just sort of like, we can't manage your incompetence with all the money that the city gets. Like you can't, like you can't give us the runaround, bitch. You can't do it. Like this is mass incompetence is what it is so i don't know that anything's actually going to happen because of this but i wouldn't be shocked i super wouldn't be shocked so let's see what's going on here this verse four of swords seven of coins five of cups there's something about this person like wanting to invest something it's like i don't know if that's peace of mind or like give you some peace with this investment because like, I don't know if you're actually crying or somebody else is actually crying or um, that's kind of just like, we've already had the five of coins out from this deck. So it's like a struggle card because the five of wands also came out. Um, I'm gonna go around again because it's sort of like, uh, is a weird kind of message. I understand the investment, but like to me, the four of swords and the five of cups is a bit vague. Oh, this also might bring this person peace of mind to be able to do this. Remember, they were in the Nine of Swords. So they're going from the Nine of Swords to the Four of Swords to be able to give the message. Peace of mind. Six of... Yeah, this is something like this person, by like giving you something, there's some sort of like long-term investment um, that this person wants to make. That it's like, it's going to give you, if you are like the person who needs it, I would guess it would give you peace of mind, but it's also going to give them peace of mind for some reason. Ooh. The seven of coins is the nine of wands. That also could be you investing in something long term if you're like the more beat up person. Ooh. What is that? Hermit devil. Yeah, that's y'all. Y'all are over here trying to do something, trying to grow something, and this person, oh, you know, um, I'm wondering if they're thinking that, like, you might say you don't want the help because you're in this devil hermit energy, which is, like, aggressively, like, the nine of wands, the devil and the hermit is, like, aggressively alone, like, by choice. Like, um, I can do this, all, like, I, whatever this seven of pentacles is, I can do it all by myself. Like, I don't, fuck you, I don't need that. I, like, I don't know if that's going to be part of what the communication is about. Or if they're just perceiving this about you. Judgment. Three of Cups. So, like, this person wants to, like, what they've decided, like, it's just, like, they want to turn the Five of Cups into the Three of Cups. So, they want to change this struggle. Okay. All right. Okay, we're still in this deck. Um... How is this person going to communicate this? I don't know that they would, like, this is still in the, Seven of Cups, Two of Swords, Two of Wands? That's like not a firm, I don't get that if this person, if we've got all this page and Ace of Wands here, this is all suggesting like active movement, but all of what I just said is like, that could be decision on action with that two and two, but this is very much like, 
this is not in the material world, like with that Seven of Cups. I'm gonna go around on this again because it just like I'm confused as to why I'm getting like activity on the message, but then like whatever this weirdness is. Queen of Wands. I don't know if this is a magician. I don't know. Like that just seems stupid. Like if, if someone's trying to send you dream communication. Page of Swords, no, there's actual, okay. So I don't know if this person hasn't decided yet or they are like in their decision-making process or they are like making their way towards this. And then the two of coins on this, it's sort of like, this isn't manifested yet. Even in this last row, it's like it is manifesting but it's not the inciting incident. It is not the point of communication. Because this person's still doing something. They're still doing something because they still have this Queen of Wands. The Queen of Wands is the first time I've seen like whoever this child is like come out. They still have this Queen of Wands in like the imaginal realm with that Seven of Cups. This is someone they're dreaming about, someone they're thinking about. I have to make a decision to communicate here and in order to do that, there's like, I need to do other things. So this like, oh my God. Um, so it seems like they've already made the decision, but it, there's something about the material. There's something about the material environment still that like, I just don't, I, like what? what's this person's hang up or hold up? Because now I'm aggravated because it's just like, oh no, not one of these where it's like someone who's forever like. All right, this person's hang up or hold up is nine of cups, strength, and the seven of swords. This is like a powerful desire a powerful secret desire or a powerful desire that they have to be strategic about. Like I said, I don't see this person as not wanting to do this. It seems like they want to do it very much, but it's just sort of like, there's like something weird. Yeah, nine of, okay, so. I don't know, it seems like this person has some sort of secret wish or secret goal that's very, very powerful. And that is the thing that is holding them back. What is the secret? If it is a secret, tell me. What is this person's like secret thing? The hermit, oh, might not tell me. The secret thing. But that's what's holding this person up. They have some sort of secret thing. It just could be the desire aspect. Because I was telling you, if that, like, that's something that's underneath, like, several layers of emotions that this person is feeling. But, like, if they feel that something about how they want to act is, like, Seven of Swords. Like, the reason why they would be concealing it isn't because they have, like, a... A negative intention towards you but they might feel like the relationship is inappropriate and if they have a powerful like queen of wands ace of wands type of desire that is kind of like beneath whatever this other thing is that might be part of what's holding them back three of cups it's like it could be the length of time that this person has been wanting this yeah, oh, so nine of, like, it's like this person has a secret. It's like they just very much want this. And the amount of wanting that they have is holding them back. Yeah, there's like, there is something like kind of romantic about this, I think. And there's something about that that this that's holding this person up. Yeah, but they're gonna like the hermit. 
to the fool, I don't see this person not acting, but we've kind of come full circle with this fool, right? Because this person had to close stuff out to get into the fool energy. So I just don't, like the reason why I get aggravated was because I was just like, if this, if someone's just going to be in non-action for the rest of like their life, I like don't, I understand why that person would be appearing in someone's energy. Or if I'm speaking directly to like whoever the King of Pentacles is, I get why you would be showing up. And also like it's, it's intensely aggravating to me to read somebody who's like holding their own selves up. Um, it could be though that this person has like, a, um, has stuff that they still like need to do. Um, does this imper does this person actually, like, will this person actually take action? If I get a no on this, I swear to God, I'm going to throw the shit. It it's just taking time. Yeah. Okay. Now, this person is going to act Wheel of Fortune. Uh, what's going on? There's something p potentially, like I said, this person has a lot of responsibility. This could be like, this could be money, but this could also be like um, whatever system that I was telling you that this person is involved with. It's like, they can't just act. They really can't. Whoever this person is, for some reason, due to their lifestyle or what they do or who they are, they are not someone who can just jump into the Knight of Swords whenever they want. Like, because we've got the Knight of Swords, Knight of Pentacles. It's almost sort of like this person wants to be in the Knight of Swords, but they're in the Knight of Pentacles. So it's not that they're not acting and it's not that they don't intend to say something. It's just, it's sort of describing, it's like, you know, um, don't be too aggravated by this. This is literally like something like by necessity. Um, I'll go around on this one more time. So no, there is motion here. This person's not like procrastinating or holding, like being their own obstruction. It's just kind of, this is what it is. So that change thing that we saw at the beginning, the change Knight of Wands could be a way that this person wants to be, but they're in the Knight of Pentacles for some sort of reason. Tower, see, now it gives me shit that I have questions about. Oh, um, that could be like, if they just jump into the, like, the Knight of Swords or whatever, whatever that 10 of coins is will be destroyed. Or in order for them to do whatever it is that they want to do, they have to destroy something in this Ten of Pentacles. The Empress on this Knight of Swords. Yeah, it's sort of like, so I got the Moon and the Queen of Cups here. It's just sort of like, um, I just don't think, I don't think that like y'all see this person. It's sort of like y'all are kind of in this nebulous like moon state or this person is because they're just like, oh, I'm in limbo because like, I want to do this, but I got to do this. But they're moving. Yeah, the King of Swords. Okay, so this person is just kind of like, they're on the path and they wish it would go quicker. They wish it would go quicker. For some reason, it can't go any quicker than it is. Yeah, because this person, so this is part of what's stressing this person. There's something about this person's like life or because the message is now repeating, which means we need to close this out because it's sort of like this conundrum that this person is in, whatever it is, is also upsetting them and they would prefer it not be this way. So let's go ahead and get to final advice outcome. And then do I want to close with the sun and the power? I don't know. I'm tired. Now I'm tired. I think we might just close this time with the perennial words of the highest authority. Yeah, it just seems like this person is still dealing with nonsense. I got the five of wands, the four of cups, and the king of swords. I mean, that Four of Cups could be communication, but it's sort of like, I don't know what that Five of Wands is. Oh, it's whatever. It's kind of not like the Five of Wands is like the star and the Knight of Cups. It's so it's not a true blockage. The Five of Wands isn't a blockage, but there's like some sort of like 
thing that is snagging the energy, right? That is preventing this person from going in the direction that they want to go. It's not that they aren't going in that direction, but it's sort of like this person is wading through a swamp when they would probably prefer to be on a slip and slide. The Four of Cups is the Seven of Swords. So I don't know, these are like secret thoughts or like, um, I don't think it's secret communication. It could be this person like looking at their life and then like secretly being like, I wanna be like over, I don't wanna be dealing with this thing. I wanna be dealing with this thing over here. Or it could be this person um, sort of sneaking up on you. Yeah, I think this is like this person is sort of, if this is more the person who this person would be talking to, it's like y'all are dealing with like your own stuff and then this person's gonna kind of pop out and they're like seven of swords, three of wands. Like they've been plotting. Like this person has a plot. It's not a bad plot, but this person has been plotting this. King of swords, king of wands. So, I mean, yeah, that's an action taker. It's not someone who, you know, and then there's that two of coins. So there's something like going on here, but I feel like this is a very frustrating message to give. Can I get, like, can you give me something like, what is the most positive thing that the collective can take from this message? Okay. Positive thing. This person is, okay. This person is, this is kind of like a little placeholder message. If like you've been getting messages like this and you've been thinking to yourself like this is stupid or whatever, like I'm being delusional, you know, I would never hold up your, like I would not make decisions on a reading, something that's in the energy. I would never allow that to like affect decisions that are going to benefit your life now for someone else who's showing up in the energy, right? So you should mo most definitely do what it is that you want to do, but this is just saying like, this person is coming directly towards you. It's just whatever this other crap is that they're kind of not in control of and they cannot just, cause like it was me, like I, that's why I like, I'm, I'm very like, this is my energy because I don't care what, if I want to do something, it's like, fuck all this. Like I do knock stuff over. I just mess stuff up. I don't care. Like I just sort of like deal with it on the back end. But like if that person like has a fit, like I don't have a um I don't have kids or anything like this. So like if that person has like kids and stuff like that, they can't do that. Okay, because that's like other people's lives that they're in charge of. I'm not really in charge of another person's life, so I can't just be like flail flail, like I was get rid of all of this, like who cares? Um, so I can be in that, so I get like annoyed because I'm always kind of like, Well, why can't you though? Well, but why though? So, like, yeah, so this part, Chariot, Page of Cups, okay? This person is coming in to do this. It's just sort of like, whatever, Queen of Wands. And they are, I'm telling you, part of their... <laughs> they do have some sort of, like, attraction probably here that's also, they're kind of like, how do I not be a freak? <sighs> that's probably part of it. Ace of Swords. The most positive thing about this is yes, this person is going to come and talk to you eventually. It just, it is in the time that it is most appropriate. Cause like I said, this person's very much like if you're someone who's very like, we're doing it like the queen of wands, right? The queen of wands chariot, like we're doing all the things. We're doing it right now. And bleh, you know, that kind of crap. If you're like that, this person is way more just like, let's think about this. Let's come up with a solid plan. And then we'll look at that plan and we'll act from there. And then we can talk about how we feel about the plan. Where it's like the queen of wands is just kind of like, we're just gonna do it like, what are we gonna plan? What plan? Like it's not that the queen of wands like isn't strategic, but queen of wands, king of wands, like that's more impulsive than king of pentacles twice with the empress.
okay? So that is the most positive thing about this. Yes, this person is eventually gonna come in and talk to you. And it seems like there are some sort of feelings here that this person is also sorting through, that they're trying to make sure that they're being appropriate, especially if there's like power dynamics or any sort of like differentiation, age gap, class status, something. If there's something there in the relationship, then yeah, you want somebody who's like taking that into consideration about whether or not that's appropriate. You kind of don't want someone who's just like, doesn't care, isn't thinking about it, or is actively trying to get into some kind of weird dynamic with other people, okay? So all of that I would say is very positive. This is just kind of this person's nature and the way this person's life just flat out is. So let us go ahead and close here with the words of, of the perennial words of the highest authority. Happy painting and God bless my friends.